just wouldn't we all love to receive clear audience messages flowing through our body, flowing through our fingers, onto the keyboard, typing so fast we can't even imagine. And these messages would be so exciting, would actually retool our energy that would help open up our life to new abundance, happiness, and revelations. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do just that. So I use automatic writing, which you can do freehand or on a computer to communicate with spirit, to communicate with my angelic guides. I meditate every day and ask them questions, but then I also find out that if I sit down and do automatic writing, the answers I get are so very clear and you'll know that they are communications from the spiritual realms and from your guides because of how they sound. They would sound joyous, uplifted, exciting, and also in the third person. It wouldn't come out like, I am this or I am that. It would come out more like, you are, you should, that sort of thing. I've received messages that totally help me with manifestation in all areas of my life. Also, one thing you need to constantly be doing is looking for energy blocks, those blocks that could keep you ill or stuck. You want to discover those. You can ask your spiritual guides specifically. I love also asking them for their names. Sit down when you're gonna go do your automatic writing, ask them for their names. Is it an angel? Is it a directed spiritual guide? I have a guide, Matthew, from the Bible. He's fantastic because he's told me he's had over 800 lives on this earth. He's had direct experience of working with and seeing Jesus Christ, seeing how he worked, seeing his healing. And he's been able to communicate that to me, how to provide healing to myself and other people. He's led me to all kinds of paths and answered my questions very specifically. Another guide I deal with through automatic writing is the Archangel Gabriel. It helps me with my communication. He's fantastic in that area and I will ask him specifically, how can I better communicate to people on my YouTube channel, for example. I've had guides tell me specifically what to say, what to write, and what to do next. In fact, when I sit and ask them for information that all of you want, that you want to know and help you grow for my next YouTube channel, they start flowing me these enormous lists. So I have a never ending list of videos that you've requested from me spiritually and mentally. I always love hearing about how these are positively impacting your life. But first, before we go further, remember to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this one. The whole purpose of this channel is to help you be more empowered, to open yourself to greater realms, to receive the abundant blessings that are here for you. And I found that if I sit down and bless myself and bless everyone in the world, before I do my automatic writing, if I express gratitude, if I think about all the blessings in my life, I think about my wonderful two daughters, I think about my brother and sister, I think about all my friends, I think about the successes in my life and I express gratitude for the health and abundance I have. It helps raise me to a higher level so that I can better receive the automatic writing communications from the spiritual realms. Here's some more examples of messages that I've received from the spiritual realms. They can be kind of cute because I've complained before when I can't quite hear the message, when I'm feeling a little blocked, they came back with an individual angel whose name was Brutus. I thought that was so funny. And obviously they were trying to be funny, but Brutus' purpose is to be really loud and help magnify the messages so that I can receive them clairaudiently through my ears, telepathically, and flow through my fingers. It's so very exciting and I love it when they're funny. And I've had Gabriel tell me that he works with a chorus of angels. I've had Ariel tell me, who helps us with our psychic development, that she has 
50 pink angels of sparkling light that work with us. And I can call on her whenever I want to further build my psychic senses. I've asked for them for help in how to build my intuition and how to build my ability psychically. They've told me to use playing cards and start sensing whether it's spades or clubs or hearts or diamonds. And to do that, when I hold the card, to use all my senses, sight, hearing, sense of smell, touch, just let it envelop the card and see what I come up with. And the accuracy has been pretty fantastic. It takes a little bit of practice, just like riding a bike, just like learning to drive a car or fly an airplane. I haven't learned that one yet though. It does take practice to build your psychic senses and being able to read playing cards, as well as the tarot, which I talked about in creating a symbol library. I've asked the angels for assistance and they've told me to play with them and it helps them flow energy to them. When I'm working on something, they say, just remember how when you're playing golf, you've asked us for help with your swing, with your distance, which I do, and it's been great. So they tell me to just do the same thing with whatever project I'm working on at the time. And some of my earlier videos, I've shared some details with you that I've learned through automatic writing, such as to open up my clairaudient hearing to listen to the sound of gongs or just the sound of a fan and listen intently or to music, to an orchestra, for example, and try to figure out which are the flutes, which are the French horns, which are the violins in a symphony. They've also told me to ask for their assistance in my dreams. They come to me in my dreams, listen, for them in my dreams, see them in my dreams, and they have given me some of the most incredible eye-opening suggestions and communications that have been absolutely fantastic in opening up my life and opening up my psychic abilities. When I asked them once about additional things I should know to help me understand how to grow spiritually, this might be a good tip for you as well. They told me to study up on the Ascended Masters Ascension. There are Ascended Masters in a wide variety of religions that we can learn from. I love Yogananda Pramahansan from Autobiography of a Yogi. I read that and learned so very much. Of course, I love the Bible. And I love learning about Buddha. The love and peace from Buddha is fantastic. And of course, anyone who watches this channel for any length of time knows that I love A Course in Miracles. A Course in Miracles is not a religion. It was communicated by Jesus Christ through a medical psychologist from Columbia University. It's 1,600 pages of text and daily lessons that just help you grow in your spiritual connection. I also prefer to relax in the evening without alcohol, so I asked them on ways that I could do that. One way that they brought to me was a type of breathing that they showed me through automatic writing, detailed out, that I would breathe into a count of four, then hold it to a count of four, then breathe out slowly to a count of eight. And it's really interesting if you hold your pulse while you're doing that, you'll find out that your pulse slows while you're doing that long breathing out to a count of eight. It's a fantastic way to relax. The other thing they communicated to me through Ariel, she said that she works again with about 50 pink sparkly very like angels. And she brings pink light into your consciousness, lifting you up with that twinkly light, filling you with joy, filling you with love and excitement, and helps you relax in the beauty of the end of your day. She told me to think of Tinkerbell, her army of little angels that are so fun and so full of light and can help you raise up your vibration. They also let me know that yogic breathing is a fantastic way to relax. And there are many different forms of yogic breathing. I just shared one with you a few minutes ago. They also wanted me to share messages for people to help them raise up their energy, to help them release 
energy blocks, which I'm bringing to you in a video that will help them heal from chronic pain and illnesses like autoimmune and digestive upsets. I'd love to hear in your comments below about messages you received through automatic writing or any other way that you'd like to share and help elevate our community. Make sure and go here to find out about 10 tips in increasing your Claire audience.